Hello everybody, Sam Davidson here with MEA Worldwide and I am sitting with Landry Bender Hi. who plays Sarah in the new Hulu show Looking for Alaska. Yes. How are you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, but I'm also kind of sad because <laughs> I spent the entire weekend binging Looking for Alaska and it was really fantastic. Thank you, I'm so glad you liked it. So tell me a little bit about what attracted you to the project and how you landed the role. Yeah, it was a really, really crazy um, auditioning experience. I actually auditioned for all three girls on the show so Alaska first and then Laura and then Sarah um, I'd been auditioning for our casting director for a long time since I was like 14 wow. and he just like really thought the project was a good fit for me and wanted to um, get me in there wherever he could um, but it's just kind of really the project that I've always wanted to be a part of I mm -hmm. wanted to get to a point where I could do like really smart coming-of-age stories mm -hmm. um, and this was exactly that so well, on that note, you know, it really is a beautiful coming-of-age story. Why do you think this story is so important to be told right now and, you know, what's going on with kids these days and why it's kind of perfect for them to di digest this material? Yeah, I mean, it's interesting, right, because it takes place in 2005. Mm -hmm. So you would think maybe, like, it isn't relevant to kids now or it would feel a little distant. But what's crazy is it's, like, you know, um, so long ago, almost 15 years ago, um, but all the topics we talk about, you know, we get into mental health and, you know, kids asking first questions about love and loss and all these things that really don't talk down to teenagers. It really just treats them as people and people who are going through, through things for the first time. So I'm grateful that um, I got to be a part of telling that story. Well, let's talk about Sarah for a little bit. She's yeah. a spitfire, <laughs> you know, she's a really fun character. How did you relate to her and what did you find was the most difficult also to try to relate to her with? Yeah, um, I didn't relate to her a ton. I think that um, our approaches to things are a little bit different. I definitely use sarcasm and can have like my sassy moments, but I want to do it out of love and I want to present myself in, you know, a different way. But she really, she really um, gets after her boyfriend and gets after a lot of people. But I hopefully hope people see the heart behind her as the series goes on. Um, she has kind of lived inside of this bubble for her whole life and really like knows nothing but the small Alabama rich community that she's grown up in. Um, so I think we relate in terms of that we kind of had to grow up really fast in a lot of different ways um, and that we do, we are kind of sassy but I think our approaches to it are different. And let's talk about the central relationship that you have with your boyfriend on the show, yeah. um, Colin. Like, what can you tease about the relationship for how young people can kind of relate to what you two go through on yeah. the show? I mean, what's so interesting about their dynamic, and we had two weeks of rehearsal before we started shooting, and Denny and I would just sit down and like figure out the whole dynamic of everything. Um, basically, you know, they're two people who grew up from completely different backgrounds, but mentally are on such the same page. So um, I think that's the interesting part about them is you see these two people who couldn't be com who couldn't be more different, but mentally deal with things in the exact same way. So um, that was really fun building that, and Dem Denny and I's on screen chemistry was great. So I was really grateful in the way that it all came about. So as a lot of us know, you are actually on Fuller House as well. Yeah. Are you guys done shooting the season yet? Yeah, we um, do the series finale next month. Oh my gosh. Crazy. So tell me a little bit about what it was like joining that cast and how you know that role is different than what you're doing right now. Yeah, so I joined that show on season three. We're mm -hmm. on season five right now. Um, and it was so exciting. I got to like kind of go back and binge watch all of Gia's stuff. And Marla Sokoloff, who plays my mom, is like so supportive. And she like she, like my first episode, she's like, text me if you need any like Gia isms. Like I got you. Um, but it's just so fun. Like the way they incorporated me into the show and. Um, I, it's such a different character from Sarah, but I really love sort of her off balance to um, the family, and I'm sad it's gonna wrap up. You know, I'm, it's been cool to be a part of it for three years, yeah. Well, thank you so, so much thank for joining you. us, and as you know, I have already binged all of the episodes. It was amazing, but thank we you. want you guys to binge the episodes of Looking for Alaska, which premieres on Hulu on October 18th, and we'll see you next time. Check it out, bye. bye.